operation data are kept at the top of the main window in this area. This is the history of every operation run by the microprocessor on the emulator. Uh, by default, we display uh, the last 10 operations. You can increase the size uh, of this area simply by uh, grabbing the main window and increasing uh, the number of uh, operations we can display. If you want to keep all of the um, operations, simply ask for record here. And in this case, every operation will be kept in memory and so you can review them here. You can of course make a quick run and stop, but even a quick action like this one will grab more than 1 million of line of uh, code operation for a total of 5 million cycles. So the easy way is usually to go uh, step by step or using the more precise button we have here. At any time, of course, you can uh, clear the history uh, and wait for the right uh, function you want to analyze. So, for example, I would like to understand what is inside my uh, get joystick input function. So uh, let's go there. If I want to go directly on a specific location, I simply have to click on it and go to highlight. So now I'm ready to enter in the joystick, in the get joystick input function. First, I can clear the history. And because I want everything from uh, the get joystick input function, I simply put myself on the next line and I say, okay, go, uh, I light, okay, and it's going to register all the operation. So uh, we have recorded 52 operations for 184 cycles. I can review my operation here and I can also save uh, my operation in an operation list file. So when we look here, what do we have? Um, we have a small number of information. The one in the file are a little bit bigger and more interesting to, to review. Um, let's first uh, review what we have here. So basically, how do we read this part? Uh, what we have here is a, a current operation number. So at the beginning, uh, I had uh, reset. So we start at one. And of course, we stop uh, when we were outside of the function. So basically, 52 operation has, um, has run. The total number of cycle uh, was zero at the beginning. And so I, I end up with uh, 184. So it's a one convenient way to understand how many cycles uh, every operation take and at the end, how, how many cycles the uh, full uh, function took. Uh, you have size and content of all the registers. So A, X, Y, the stack register, the direct register, the data bank register, the program bank register, the program counter, you have the status of the status register, you have the size of every uh, um, register for A and X and Y, uh, you have the value of the soft switch C0, 2E and T, 2F, which are the one controlling the spot on the screen, you have the C035 controlling the shadowing and the C068 controlling the memory usage if the stack are in bank 0, bank 1 and so on. Uh, this is the total number of cycles for the operation. Uh, this is the current address for the operation. This is the data, uh, so opcode plus operand data. If we are in a software that take advantage of the symbol you may find the, the symbol and the label of the um, of the line and here you have the operation and once again here because we are using uh, a symbol file we can see exactly the name of the function we are calling. Uh, how, how do we read this? It, we read in a way where uh, this is the previous content uh, before running this operation. So for example, before running the LDX uh, 90, the previous uh, content of the X uh, register was 20. After the execution of the operation, X now contains 90. So this is before operation uh, and operation take place and this is what we have after the operation. Now, if we have a look to what we have in the file, we have a little bit more information. Um, so we record the global operation ID and the global cycle count. So this is a unique value for every operation run by 
cakes uh, from its very beginning. So the number itself is not very useful. You can uh, make a subtraction between two lines if you want to know how many operations uh, you have faced. And the same for cycle count. This unique tag for this line of code can also be uh, found in the output of the system code, the breakpoint, in function statistic, and many other ways. So this is kind of a unique value for every operation run by the processor. Uh, this is the local uh, count number for my operation, the same color that we have. We have already reviewed uh, the information because they are about the same. Here uh, we see that we are in 16 bit. Uh, if the register was only 8 bit, we would have only 8 bit display. Uh, here we have read write jump information, not display here. So <clears throat> the idea is every operation. Uh, process uh, by the system is going to uh, modify or read data from memory. Okay, So let's take a, a sample case here. We have a LDA70, uh, so this is a direct page register. So the real location for the read is 00C070, and the information found at this location would be that one. If we have a write operation like this one, we have a write operation at address 300. So, okay, we are writing at 300, and the value we are putting is 00. zero. So, this is read operation or write operation and the content of the read and write. Some operation may combine read and write all together. For example, a TRB uh, test and reset bit for the location 35 in direct page implies the C035. Uh, in bank zero full address and here we read uh, 8420 and because we reset a bit which is the first one at the end we are going to write uh, 0420 in the same location if we are uh, facing a jump or any jump uh, basically that will be the, the jump address only of course if the jump is taken uh, an rtl uh, is also a jump, so it's a way to understand where we are going. So this is the read, write, and jump information based on every operation. We have here a little bit more. The call number uh, would be the call number for a system call, like a GSOS or Toolbox, uh, if it was any. Uh, ROM is simply the ROM number. Here we are using a ROM03. RAM is the number of uh, memory bank for RAM, including E0 and E1. And that's about it. Uh, if you have a million of line of code, uh, like if I'm doing that, uh, when I'm saving uh, the operation, uh, is going to create several files. Instead of having one large file, which is taking uh, gigabyte of information, we simply drop. Uh, so every file do not contain more than uh, 200 meg. Uh, as you can see, it's over 300 meg. It's about 1 million of line of code in every file. Because we know that if the file is too big, of course, um, you won't find any uh, text editor capable to open the file. So if you are recording a very long operation uh, rec uh, with thousands or, or millions of line of code, at the end, uh, you will get one or two or three or five uh, things. The only limitation uh, is the memory you have on your PC. So up to you to uh, keep everything. But as soon as you can see, if I make it run, it goes very fast. Okay. Uh, so 20 million of operations take about two gigabytes of, of RAM, and so two, two gigabytes uh, within the file. Uh, 